Hello guys, today we have the second part of Far Driver Controller and Universal Screen Connections on the Learning Board. Today I will show you how to connect the throttle and e-brake handle on the controller and how to enable Auto Learn mode on Far Driver controllers to synchronize it with the BLDC motor for smooth run. The main devices on the learning board which we have are our controller, motor, screen, throttle, the e-brake handle, a 48V battery, and the Bluetooth device for communication of the controller with the smartphone for easy setup. The Bluetooth unit must be connected to the 4-pin plug with the red label written in Chinese. But just to be sure you must always make sure that the black wire goes to black and the red to the red. As you can see I have already connected the three phase power wires of the motor and the whole sensor connector. So now it's time for wiring. I will wire with alligator clips for easy demonstration and understanding. The third wire connection will be our ignition key switch which will take power from the positive high voltage power pole on the input pin of the key switch. And from the output pin of the key switch it will go to the ignition which is orange wire of the controller. Now it is time to connect our universal screen. Our screen has three important wires. The green which is negative pole, the black which is a positive pole and the purple which is communication. So as you understand the positive pole it must be connected to the output of the ignition key switch. So when we turn the key to turn on our vehicle the screen will be also activated automatically. And the communication purple wire as we said must be connected on the light blue wire of the controller which is a CAN wire. Now it is time to connect our throttle. Throttle wires from the controller side are as usual, red, green and black. Red and black 5V power supply and the green is the analog input signal. Here we have the e-brake wires, which will be connected on the dry contact switch of the handlebar to black and yellow plug which is low brake function of the controller. And finally we connect the battery to provide power on the controller.
After the third start, as usual, the fart driver controllers give us a sound error code, which can be for various reasons. Most likely, the error code is about the factory setting of the battery standards, which must be adjusted through software by our physical battery standard. Now, let's connect to the controller via smartphone to see which and how many faults it will show us. As you can see in the first window of the app, the rated voltage by factory is programmed at 60 volts, so the controller sees a very low voltage from our battery and that's why it gives us a specific error code. The first move from us to change the rated voltage to 48 volts, which is our nominal voltage of the battery. And then we go to protect settings and change the low volt protect, which is the lowest protection voltage of our battery. In this case, the lowest protection voltage of our battery is 40 volts. And finally, press save. As you can see and hear, the error code of the controller has stopped. By twisting the throttle, the motor continues not to run. We only notice a small rotation movement. This happens classically with all controllers at first time connection with the motor because we have not synchronized them yet. For that, we must activate the learning mode from the second feedback window of the app. As soon as the learning mode is activated, we turn the twist throttle at full position and wait for the motor to reach maximum speed, change direction and finally stop. Then we leave the twist throttle and push the exit learning mode button. After this procedure the motor works normally, smooth and synchronized. The last and very important programming for today we will do is to activate EBS braking, which is an electronic brake. Once it is activated, our vehicle breaks through the motor resistance and at the same time sends power back to the battery. To activate the EBS braking, you will find it in the function settings. At the bottom right there is an follow option. Press on and select the second option that says EABS when brake valid. And save it. There is also a choice to adjust the braking power. For that you must go to energy regenerate settings and adjust option of stop back current and max back current. Note that higher currents more stronger braking you will have. As you can see with the higher braking setting the motor brakes so hard that it's unscrewed from its mount. So that's it for today guys and see you in the next episode.